Hello Charters, welcome to Jen the Chart Show. My name is Adeza Wankwa. On today's episode of Jen the Chart Show, we're talking about human trafficking. About 71% of women that are trafficked out of the country are actually trafficked for prostitution. And um, only about 29% are actually forced into regular labor. So what is the role of parents? Are parents actually complicit in this? Most people were actually have gone and come back, have explained how it, their parents actually forced them into um, prostitution by forcing them to get out and work and get their family out of poverty. Understandable, the country's level of poverty is really high and things are really, really getting out of hand in terms of poverty level. But it's not enough for us to sit down and blame parents. Some of them actually come with the stories of good job that they will get to work in factories or um, actually tell them that they will work in bars or they will get them job as housemates. But it always turns out that these are not true stories. Most of them turn out to be forced into prostitutions. So what can we do? And it is actually said that a whole lot of um, legal agencies, law agencies like the customs, the police and the immigration are actually complicit as a whole lot of them actually know about the ringleaders of those who actually get to traffic young girls out of the country. So when a 13 year old girl or a 14 year old girl is forced to leave the comfort of their home, is forced to leave their parents or a city where they already know families and have established ties are forced to go to countries where they have no ties to become prostitutes. What does this say of our humanity? And as neighbors, what do we do? Especially for the fact that most people who have been able to escape who come back to tell their stories say that they are actually trapped and forced to stay in certain environments within the country before they are trafficked out. Some are tied and drugged in certain buildings and establishments and environment for a few months before they are trafficked out. So as neighbors, how are we not concerned that we see young girls going to certain buildings or into certain environments or into certain home for months and we don't get to see them come out and we're not interested in what is happening in such building? Why are we not bringing it to the attention of um, authorities, the police, the customs and immigration that something is going on in certain buildings, that there are strange movements in and out of certain buildings? Why are we not concerned about the fact that young girls as little as 13 and 14 years old are being forced into sex trafficking. Why is it not our concern that a certain region of the country, Benin for instance, that families have to sell their properties, their family lands and properties to send girls abroad so, just so that they can bring back money or get their family out of poverty. We should all be concerned. It should be everybody's responsibility to talk to young girls and us Authorities, the law authorities, it is not enough for you to do your work. You should do much more than working because a girl that is forced to go into prostitution or forced into human traf trafficked out simply because their parents insist that they have to be the one to get their family out of poverty. What is their right? What right do they have to be able to protest these things? What right do they have to be able to say they are not uh, they are not willing bargaining, bargaining chips to get their families out of poverty. Especially when people come from abroad to offer them lucrative jobs that are non-existent in the first place. Who are the authorities that they can talk to? Who are these secondary school? Who are the people that these secondary school girls can actually run to and talk to when their families are negotiating? to force them to be trafficked out of the country. It is very, very important that we'll pay attention to our environment, that we'll get to listen to things happening in, around us. But we don't see certain young girls for a very long time. When certain girls are going missing in, 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 in and around our environment, we should be interested in what is happening, who is taking them, who are these people, who are the ringleaders of of those trafficking. We should be very much interested in protecting our young girls. Let's not act like these things don't matter. It does matter. If you would like to contribute to today's episode, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would like to hear from you. What can we do to actually stop the trafficking of young girls out of the country? My name is Adeze Wankos. See you some other time. Goodbye.